So guys, welcome back to another video, and as you guys can tell by this, whoa, am I yelling? I'm sorry. As you guys can tell, whoa, okay, whoa, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is my The Fault in Our Stars review by me, because guess who saw the movie today? Me! And oh my god, oh my god, it is so good, oh my god. I love reading, I love books, I love John Green, I love people. Okay, that was kind of crazy. Um, let me shut up. <sighs> but this is my review on what I thought about the movie compared to the book. Yeah. So can I just say something first? The night before I got to see the movie, my mom and I were talking, and my grandma always says, Penny for your thoughts, like if I'm spacing off or something, and the next time she says that, I'm going to be all laugh. My thoughts are stars that cannot fan them into constellations. Because, you know, um, hello... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that's like the best comeback to my grandma. She'll be like, and she might be offended. So my review, I think the book was better. I think books are always better than movies, um, especially Harry Potter. I don't like Harry Potter movies. No offense to the directors or anything. It's like, I think they're good. I just don't like them. I think they're creepy. But <laughs> I'm getting crazy. Okay, but I think The Fault in Our Stars book was better than the movie. I still, oh my god, I loved the movie. Oh, I died inside. Oh, I used like a whole box of tissues. And I took a sweatshirt with me and set it on my lap while we were watching the movie. My wee and my mom and I. And it was like soaking wet when we were done. Because I <laughs> cried so much on it. And I never even got to eat my food snacks that I took with us. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> but if I had to rate the movie on, in five stars, I'd give it a five and I'd give the book a five too because they were so good. I wish, um, because I'm kind of a fangirl, I wish I would watch a movie if they include um, a book into a movie. I'd watch the whole movie if they included all the book parts. Uh, and I'm playing with scissors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was so excited to watch the movie, and I was also dreading the moment that it ended. And if you guys haven't read the book or watched the movie, I'm sorry if this spoils anything. I'm not going to try and spoil anything, but I was crying a lot, and it was really dramatic, and yeah. So then we went hunting through the bookstore in our mall, because the movie theaters, theater, theater is at the mall for me, anyways. And we went, my mom and I went hunting through the bookstore trying to find the imperil affliction. I've always said that wrong. But the book that Hazel and Augustus was were, were obsessed with. They're still obsessed with it. They're still obsessed with it. They live on forever. <laughs> but I'm trying to load up some quotes in my computer. You think about it. But my screensaver on my computer has a list of quotes, or like a picture of the quotes on it because, you know, um... That's just who I am, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, yeah, er, oh my god, um, something I really wish they would have included instead of deleting the scene where, um, John Green was in the movie, um, the part where, um, Hazel is at the mall or whatever, and then the little girl comes up to her and asks her about her, I'm gonna say this wrong because I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> I'm crazy. Uh, I don't speak English very well. I don't speak any language very well. But, okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, I just, I think this is, like, the best book movie combination ever. Um, whoa. And I've heard great things about Divergent. I haven't even been able to see the movie yet, and I'm kind of really mad. I hate burping, I'm sorry. That's really attractive, I bet. But I've heard great things and bad things about the Divergent movie, and I must say, I don't think it matches as well, especially because what I've heard about Insurgent is they're adding a new character called Edgar. Or Edgar? I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but I don't... And they want to make it like a love tri triangle with um, Tobias, Triss, and Edgar. Edgar? Well... Come on! The thing I loved about that book is that it's not a love triangle. It's just... 
<laughs> it's just a clap. It's just Tobias and Tris, and now they've ruined it, and I'm just, like, mad. It's like, you can't do this to me. Okay, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> but I'm kind of mad about that, to be honest. Um, and, um, so that's the thing I'm not very excited about. Um, I'm trying to think of more stuff to say, because I don't want to make this video, like, four minutes. I think they could have done a better job making Divergent. I know I haven't seen it, but I've heard some things about it, and I'm not very excited about it. But, The Fault in Our Stars, back to what we were talking about. Oh my god, it took my heart out and jumped on it like eight times, smashed it, and put it back in, and it made me cry and die and sad. So now I'm going to read some of my favorite quotes from the movie, just cause, or from the book and movie. Because what I hate about the book, movie, actually, I actually did not like something. They didn't include all my favorite quotes. And I know they can't really include everything, but, I mean, I think they could have done a bit better job. Okay, so I'm looking at my computer, which is what I'm doing. I'm not trying to, like, not look at you. So I'm moving you. If you guys can hear weird noises, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I don't even know where to start because um, I feel like I'll feel like I'll start crying or something. You say you're not special because the world doesn't know you uh, know about you, but that's an insult to me. I know about you. <laughs> what a slut time is. She screws everyone. Okay, I feel like the pausing is going to make it awkward. I fall in love with the way you fall asleep, slowly, and then all at once. And I actually have, like, almost all these quotes memorized, but, uh, I like looking at the pictures. <laughs> um, I know this isn't really a quote, but, yeah, are you guys okay? If you guys are okay, comment below, okay? Yeah. If you know what I mean, you can do it if you... The world is not a wish-granting factory. Uh, I'm a grenade. At some point, I'm going to blow up, and I would like to minimize the casualties. Okay. It would be a privilege to have my heart broken by you. Ah, ah, pressing buttons. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I want this dragon carrot risotto to become a person so I can take it to Las Vegas and marry it. I love that one. I don't know why. I just think it's hilarious. You don't get to choose if you get hurt in this world, but you do have some say in who hurts you. Did I do that? The marks humans leave are too often scars. Because I can't speak French, I'm not going to read that one. Ah, it's too you gave me forever within the numbered days, and for that, I am grateful. Okay, I'm trying to zoom in on this one. Maybe okay will be our always. I'm running out of runs that I can easily read. <laughs> I think forever is an incorrect concept. You are so busy being you that you have no idea how truly un... Oh my gosh, big word. <laughs> Unprecedented you are. I don't even think I said that right, but please say it. That's the thing about pain. It demands to be helped. Everything happens for a reason. That's not really cool. 
Like, there's just a picture that says that, so I read it. it's no, these aren't really quotes. They are sometimes. I dislike living in a world without Augustus Waters. Augustus Waters talked so much that he'd interrupt you at his own funeral. I do not want to see your world without him. Well, I believe in true love. Love is keeping the promise anyways. <laughs> God damn it, Augustus. Editing your own, you, 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 you will G. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Remembered. I want to find the one about the swings that come on if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll just pretend I'm lying <laughs> okay <laughs> okay I saw this tweet picture and it says I fell in love with the way you enter a pool slowly and then someone violently pushes you in <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Oh, I wouldn't mind Hazel Grace. It would be... Ha it'd, whoa! Talking English. It would be a privilege to have my heart broken by you. Okay, here's a section of the book. Okay, enough, Gus's dad said, and then out of nowhere, his dad put an arm around me and kissed the side of my head and whispered, I thank God for you every day, kid. I'm in love with you, and I'm not in the business of denying myself the simple pleasures of saying two things. Okay, I feel like I've read enough because I'm probably boring you guys to death. But if you guys enjoyed having me read random things that I like to you guys, then you guys should definitely like this video and comment down below what your favorite TFIOS quote is. Especially if you're a fangirl like me and I think I just said that all that. I'm not embarrassed to be a fangirl. It just sounds weird for me to say. Especially when I... In my room. Don't even ask. Okay, just... But if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you didn't, make sure you like it, and <laughs> comment your favorite TFIOS quote down below, and if you've seen the movie, comment your rate out of five stars, and if you've read the book, comment your rate out of five stars for the book. And if you've done both, then do both. Um, make sure you subscribe, and peace out, Girl Scout.